Hello, um, I'm Karen Spicer. I'm just one of the creative team who, um, thanks to Arts Council England 1623 Theatre Company and the National Lottery, were able to remotely come together in a Zoom room to begin our very, very first tentative steps into um, creating a brand new piece of work, um, working title Angelica, um, for an R&D. And um, in this R&D, I very much wanted us not to just um, obviously um, respond to the material and the research, but to have this fantastic opportunity to still be communicating um, and responding to one another as artists during the whole process. Um, and in that process, uh, we all are very, very keen to make sure that accessibility is right at the very beginning of our process as well. It's a big learning curve. We've got a long way to go. Um, but our heart is to create a piece of work that is accessible to all, um, as much as you can do that. So um, we're delighted to be able to share with you just a small piece uh, which is a monologue, but we wanted to maybe give that a little different kind of flavour for you so you get some sense of how we've been uh, working as artists together. So um, we want to show a little bit of our words, characterisation, imagery and design. Um, and as we say, the beginnings of us working with accessibility. So... It's been fantastic, thank you for the opportunity and mainly thank you now for taking the time to just share with us and look at what we've had a go at doing. Um, thank you very much, I hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Over red velvet tied back theatre curtains are the words Angelica. 1623 Theatre Company logo, Arts Council England logo, the National Lottery logo. The curtain returns with a title, Lists in a Bedsit. It fades out to a backdrop of a very small cramped bedsit, consisting of a kitchenette with microwave, sink with one tap, small fridge, a hot water tap unit with a dial and two white cupboards, a single bed, white bedspread, pillowcase with a blue flower design. A green flowery blind covers a window. Angelica is a middle-aged white woman with short green hair. She wears a brown dressing gown and brown glasses with yellow speckles. She is alone. Dungarees, tick. Pants, seeing better times, tick. My tea. Do you write lists when you're going somewhere? Or do you just throw everything in? Depends how long you're going for, of course. If it's permanent or weekend holiday or whatever. I haven't packed in a long time. 39 years since I left Tim Twittle to go for my apprenticeship at Thoroughs. I packed very carefully then. New aprons. Measuring cups that I'd saved for. A jumper knitted by my mum. Because it's breezy out there on the front. The brown paper bag from Auntie Tilly, telling me to open it only when I got to a private space. So we opened it on the bus to the station. <gasps> oh, yeah, back into rubber, rubber johnnies. And a note saying, just in case, be careful. I was mortified. <laughs> First aid kit, tick. Second aid 
sponge bag. Tick. Then, when I left the bakery to move up to the big house with Solomon, it's more for fruit, really. A wild impulse. Couldn't stop myself. Didn't want to. Suppose that's why I helped Jules to get away and marry. Could have done it myself. To the matter in hand. I did write a list this time. <laughs> You can't do that when you're being thrown out in a hurry. I digress. The theatrical curtain returns. Title, Recipes, which fades to backdrop two. A half-filled suitcase containing a couple of old bras that have seen better days, a pair of pants, an old-fashioned alarm clock with bells on top, fluffy bunny slippers, sponge bag, a homemade first aid kit made out of an ice cream tub, a wooden spatula, two wooden spoons, measuring cups and a 1970s cookery book entitled Cookery for Every Occasion. Angelica now wears a blue sleeveless dress, no glasses. She signs as she speaks a recipe. Wooden spoon. I like to think of things in recipes, you see. One cup of kindness. One and a half teaspoon of lust. You need to be careful with that. Two cups of patience. A large sprinkle of forgiveness. Stir together with conversation. If you want the recipe for long love to turn out right, you have to keep talking. So when the talking goes all wrong, it goes topsy turvy. Even with what happened to my pretty fool. She signs as if talking to another person. It's why we lost you. If you had only confided your plans to the one who loved you best. If Freya's friend John had not been put in quarantine on his way to delivering the message to your Lord. She stopped signing. If ifs and buts were pots and pans. The theatrical curtain returns. Title, Leaving. Backdrop three. The same suitcase with additions, including a large stone and everything that Angelica now packs. She wears the same dress, but has added a red coral necklace. Susie Lamb. Ladybird Spinner. Show. Cocktail sticks. Tin foil. Candle. Matches.
to the matter in hand. Picnic rug. Bag for the party food. Get that in Morecambe. No sense in dragging tins around all day. Sun cream. She signs as if to the same person again. What a fuss you used to make about that. But it was always sunny on your birthday. She stops signing. On bus ticket. Two train tickets. She pops them down her bra. This would buy the baby a new bonnet. She leans forward, puts on red lipstick, matching her necklace. Clicks the lipstick lid shut. A recipe card fills the screen. On its left, is a photo of the red theatrical curtains and the words budget best bets and the number eight. On the right is written the team. Designer Lisa Juicy, BSL interpreter Claire Edwards, actor Caroline Parker, BSL interpreter Elvia Roberts, director Karen Spicer, dramaturg Ben Spiller, writer Fiona Whitelaw, producer Christopher Lydon, therapist Nikki Disney. Thanks to everyone who has contributed with creative responses to our questions and our work as we've been developing the show. Produced by 1623 Theatre Company, supported by Arts Council England COVID-19 Emergency Fund.